Hey fruits and vegetables, welcome back to Hal Yogurt and Banana Peel and in this episode we are going to do the 32 Ilium which was the Willow the Wisp, yeah the Willow the Wisp so yeah let's just upgrade Pento to the the next one which I don't know what it is but okay let's go we have a lot of cash by the way so yeah we have 84,000 HP that is insane <laughs> damn okay level number 298 and there we go we can evolve it okay Pento is evolving to Vorum what Vorum okay cool Vorum okay let's just get into it Vo Vo Vorum this is a rabbit it definitely looks like a rabbit yes it still resembles more of a raccoons and its legs are bizarrely short but you must agree that the overall impression is that of a rabbit. The Lactobacillus' scientific name is Leuconostic Citrovorum. Okay, I shall call it Vorum. Okay, nice. Dextra. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Dextra. I'll come for you in the next episode. So, right now we are going to be doing the Willow o the Wisp. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's try getting a gold. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, even, I don't even think that's possible, but I'm gonna try. So, yeah. Here we go, Vorum. He looks pretty similar to another character, I guess. No? Is it just me or is it... Okay, whatever. Will of the Wisp. Yes, I can perceive what seems to be the Will of the Wisp outside my very window. Okay. There are some purple color dudes, but yeah. I am coming for you, cats, kittens, whatever, to be... To release you from this beautiful uh, tear droplet. I don't know what you are stuck in. Of course, you are stuck in Willow the Wisps, or you are the Willow the Wisps, but uh, whatever. Oh, 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 I almost fell there. I was actually looking at the cats. They would, you know, oh, there goes our gold medal, but whatever. Of course, we can't get the gold medal anyway. Uh, here we go. We are upside down. We are going to release as many cats as possible because, you know, cats. What can I say about them? <laughs> They're cute. They're, uh, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> they are uh, trapped. I, wait a minute, why would anybody trap cats in a drop? That's so cruel, right? Damn, these people are so rude. I mean, it's actually inside the scientist's body, right? <laughs> anyway, there are some big balloons which want to pop me because I don't know why, but there goes our bronze, which is kind of disappointing, but no problem. Oh, because we're going to win and that's all that matters. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Look at the background. The background looks like, you know, like full-on spinal cords and yeah, it actually looks like spinal cords. That's pretty cool. But spinal cords do not look like that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. Can we do this? I hope we can unless we fall into a hole, that is. And if we fall into a hole, it's all done for this lactobacillus. Let's go. Yes, we have done it. Finally, we have done it. We have done the will o the wisp uh, We have like a lot of HP remaining, so that's awesome. We are almost back to full health. And is this is the next one gonna be 32 ilium? 33 ilium, I mean, or is it gonna be the large intestine? Let's find out right about now, I guess. Some five seconds bit. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. 33 ilium. What? Needle and thread. Wow. Actually, yeah, it makes complete sense because the ilium is actually longer than the duodenum and the jejunum, so it makes complete sense. It's and, and it's actually pretty rela relatable, yeah. So, yeah, uh, okay, let's go. Okay, needle and the wool. Okay, it's nothing, nothing too bad so far. It's pretty easy. So, yeah, I'm not gonna jinx myself because I'm probably gonna fall into a hole very soon. But why would you have needles and wool in your body? And that too in the large intestine? Huh. Whatever. Okay, parasites are very less in number. That's pretty cool. But they are pretty long. <laughs> okay, can we? I, I know we can't do this, but you know, just giving my best, you know. Yeah, there you go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We are doing fine. Awesome. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Bye, orange parasite. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, cool. Okay, let's just go back home and continue reading what we have done, which was 32 Ilium. Let's go. The investigation revealed the identity of the strangely colored flames flying about in the middle of the night, Willow the Wisp. 
caused by the oxidation of phosphorus re released by bodies in the grave as they naturally corrode. Everything you see can be proven by science. There is no more need to fear. Unscientific superstitions. Okay. There we go. Board amoeba. Darn it. Capsule. Okay. That was, an, that was it for this episode. In the next episode, I will be doing the 33 ilium. Let's see how long the ilium is. Whoa. What is this? Whoa. That's pretty cool. What's happening here? Okay. What was that? It is over. I can no longer retain my title of Chief Science Officer. I shall resign with what honor that remains and leave the country. And to think that all, for all the contributions, both monetary and academic, I have made to my country in the name of science, I received only envy and disgrace. When a theory was released contradicting my research of lactobacilli, those whom I once called my fellow academics, begrudging my success achieved without a degree, seized at the chance to tear me down. I cannot help but feel betrayed. I will not. I cannot stay here any longer. I will leave. Oh no! What? He got resigned. And I got 200. Okay, that's a lot of cash. But what? Why? Why? Why, why did he resign? I, I don't get it. What? The what? So basically now is he going to do research on with his own like money or something like that? Okay, so after the uh, ilium is basically the appendix. Uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty sad. He resigned. Man, I'm pretty disappointed, but I, uh, I don't know, man. Okay, yeah. Okay, that was it for this episode. If you had fun, please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.